Welcome to this tutorial today and this tutorial will be about creating a simple eye uh, mesh and also the rig associated with it. Uh, the rig uh, and mesh uh, features a blend shape driven iris, uh, a bone driven uh, blink operation and also a bone driven sticky eye uh, feature. So essentially at the end of this uh, tutorial you should be able to get something similar to what you can see here on uh, my screen. So let's get on with it. So what I'm going to do is just going to reset my scene. New scene, say don't save of course. Uh, control space to bring back all my UI. Uh, Shift M, Control M, actually to bring back all my UI. I'm going to use UI elements and show all. And I'll just close that one. And display my grid. Alright, so today's tutorial will start out with the creation of the eye. Uh, there's many ways of doing this. You can have a research on the uh, YouTube or the web for different techniques. Uh, this is my way and uh, uh, it's quite simple. So uh, to get the ball rolling, first I'm just going to hide a few things in my UI. I'm not going to use my help line, command line, range slider or time slider at this stage. So I'll just get rid of it and close this. Alright, so I'm going to create an eye ball using a sphere polygon and drag it out on the grid like so and F5 on the keyboard to bring back uh, shaded mode and I'm going to change some of the parameters of this eye uh, first thing is just to make sure it's zeroed out on the grid and my inputs I'm going to change this radius to about 6 and subdivisions and heights to 16 I like to work with the power of 2 uh, wherever possible uh, in Maya. So we'll have my eyeball like so. And I'm just going to rotate it so it's facing the front and the front uh, or front of the scene. And Maya is always along the z-axis so I'm going to rotate it through the x. Uh, I might as well just plug in a value of 90 here and rotate x and it'll be looking at the camera directly. Okay, so let's give it a name. Uh, I'm just going to pretend this is the right eyeball. So I'm just going to put right eye at this stage. And that should be pretty much it for the shape. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, first I'm going to turn on my uh, wireframe unshaded, is I'm going to create the lens uh, part of the eyeball. First I'm just going to go into my uh, component mode and select the vert at the front here and I'm going to convert this uh, actually I'm just going to turn off my gizmo I'm going to convert this selection to a uh, to a faces by holding down control and F11 and then grow and grow the selection out by um, holding down shift and hitting one of the uh, arrow keys on the keyboard until I get roughly this type of selection uh, I will go to my polygon menu to get to my polygon tools and then go to mesh and I'm going to separate out this part of the, the, the sphere here Did that work? mesh oh, extract sorry so extract will separate those two sections of the mesh uh, I'm not going to do any movement or anything like this so I'm just going to hit W on the keyboard to complete the operation and I will go back to my object mode as well so now you'll have two parts of the mesh like so. Let's open up my outline here to see what's going on. And what we have here is the two meshes underneath a, uh, a group here with a transform value. So I'm going to basically freeze and delete by type. And then what I'll do is I will drag this out of the hierarchy, middle mouse button. And I'm going to delete this right eye. So actually I didn't have to name the eyeball. But now I will I right eye and right lens for a moment and it's good just to have names so you can identify it as you're cruising through the scene and I might just go ahead and save the scene I'm at the stage so this is a toot I'm just going to call it eye toot 01 and away we go alright so let's start applying some uh, colors to this. I'm just going to 
Actually, before I do that, I'm just going to create my iris. So I'm going to uh, hide the lens. Just going to control H on the keyboard. They can also be ex accessed via uh, display. Uh, hide, hide selection. And I'm going to go ahead and create the iris uh, here. So I'm going to grab my original eyeball here. I'm going to go to uh, sub object mode edge, which is F10 on the keyboard. And I'm going to double click this edge here at the front. And we'll give the whole selection, we'll do a, a edge loop. And essentially from here I'm going to do an extrude. And I can just do this using the shelf here and the extrude uh, button is just here. So let's just select it. And I'm going to select the, uh, where is the handle gone? Let's just minimize it a bit. So this one here to select the center of this of the selection or extrude. I'm going to select one of the scale or just click on one of the scale um, ends of the gizmo here which will turn on the middle scale here and I'm just going to uniformly scale it in to about here. That should be nice. Okay, so I can hit uh, enter to finish no, just hit W actually to finish the tool. And I'm going to convert this selection to faces as well by holding down Control and F11. Then I'm going to do the extract operation again. And there we go, hit W on the keyboard. And again, we're going to have two new services. I'm just going to do always the usual, which is delete by type, modify, freeze history, freeze transforms. And I'm going to drag these two objects out and delete this group here. Alright, so oh, we've lost textures. That's nice. And if you lose textures, you should be able to just select it. I'm going to get F8. Select it, and we're going to apply a new material. And I'm just going to do a Fong. There we go. It's fine. And it looks looking pretty cool. So I'm going to call this the right eyeball again. One more time. Or right eye. And this one will be right iris. Uh, which is good. So again, I'm going to hide the iris. So I'm going to control H, hide it. And I'm going to finish off up on this particular part of a mesh. So F10 again. Select the edges. And I'm going to do another extrude. And I'm just going to extrude it out, whatever, like so. And then shift, merge clap edges, merge clutch, merge edges to center. And what that'll do is create this uh, shape. I'm going to go to F9. I hit W actually. And then I'm just going to move this in. So this is going to become the uh, black period part of the eye in here. So that's pretty much it for the modeling. So I'm just going to bring back my left iris by uh, selecting it in the outliner here. And I can go Shift H to unhide it. Or while it's selected in the outliner, you could go Display. Uh, show selection. Alright, so I'm not going to reveal the R lens just yet. We'll leave it as is. Um, okay, cool. So I'm just going to start applying some color to this. So first of all, off I have a material applied to the whole eyeball. So I'm just going to go control A to access its attributes. And I'm just going to delete all the history in the scene. Delete by type or history. So it tidies up my display here in my attribute editor and I can see my fong and it's selected here. And this is called this I or MOT for short form material underscore I white. And I'll change this to a bit of a white color like that. Alright, so I'm gonna go to my to my component mode and select the vert here. And I'm going to shift select, convert this, uh, sorry, I'm going to convert this selection into a uh, faces by holding down control F11. And I'm going to right click, apply a new material. And this one I'll apply as a Lambert, uh, the black part of the eye, uh, you don't want any reflections whatsoever. So Lambert is a very simple material for this. So we're going to call this MAT eye black. And then we're going to take it all the way down to black. So I'm going to go back to my object mode. And we're starting to get something looking like this. Okay, the iris on the other hand, 
we should apply some kind of texture too to make it really nice. Um, so first off I will just apply a new material to it. So right click it, assign new material and I will go for Fong and I'm going to call this mat, mat short form material, mat uh, iris and we need a texture to go on it. So I'm just going to change it to a, a color that's easy to identify. So let's switch to Google. So to search for an iris texture, uh, you should really look up iridology, uh, which is the science of studying uh, eyes. So turn to or irises. Um, go to images, and we're going to go over to a large icon, uh, like so. Just look for a texture. So of course you should ask for permission to use this in any kind of production. Um, uh, so we'll see if we can find a nice eye to use. Let's put it somewhere else out of the way. Okay. And we'll give them blue eye. That'll do. Let's load this up. File. Okay, I'll save this into my current project, into my source images. Uh, I actually have one already done, but I'll do it again for your benefit. And okay minimize that so I'm gonna open up Photoshop file I'm gonna open Facebook stuff source images okay is this one or that one uh, kidney wings okay so iridology this guy this guy has kidney weakness right so I'm just gonna make a selection actually what I'll do is just crop it it's probably easiest at this stage uh, I'm going to concentrate straight on the eye itself and nothing else. Double click it and then I'm going to um, uh, adjust. So I'm going to do my image size and I'm just going to change this to turn off scalp. Uh, sorry, constraining proportions and I'm just going to change it to 1024 by 1024 and it looks quite nice that will do so file save and it should have saved that over the top so now we're going to apply this material we just created go to my mat iris here and hit the check it box here and we'll open up a or input a file into this and we'll go browsing for our image uh, which should be the kidney weakness job here and just might rename it something a little bit better which would be a um, <coughs> uh, iris uh, diffuse 01 okay so put that in and you can see the result like so so we actually need to do a UV map on this um, so I'm going to go and create UVs while I have it selected. So create UVs, play and map it. And open up our window UV texture editor. Uh, it should be just here actually. And what I'm going to do is go to F12 mode, which is UV mode. And I'm going to start dealing with my UVs like so. Uh, alternatively I can do a selection by holding down F, go F10 mode, double click it, convert the selection by holding down control and hitting F12 and convert that selection to UVs. So I'm going to scale it and position it around the black of the eye. So it doesn't need to be in the black of the eye but it just needs to be around this sort of position as so. I'm going to go F10 mode again, hit the outer edge of the iris here, converts to UVs by control F12 and I'm just going to scale that. Oops, scale that in a little bit also, like so. All right, so this should work alright for us. And uh, that's it. So, object mode and closed UV texture editor. Right. So finally, we need to go to Outliner and select our left right ends here. Lens and Shift H to unhide it. And we need to apply a material to this. So new material. And I'll go for a Fong. And I'm going to call this matte uh, um, lens. 
and this has a lot of transparency and I'm gonna make it mostly black okay we can play around with that later and that will create a sort of a lens over the front all right so that's our eye so what we're going to do now is uh, combine it all together so what we'll do is I'll just select it all and go to my mesh and combine then I'm going to go delete all by type history and I don't know I'm going to combine it, I'm just going to leave it all as. I'll okay, edit that out later. Okay, so here's an eye. So, what we need to do now is we need to look at creating a uh, uh, an eye shape, uh, fleshy area around it uh, for the rest of the tutorial. Alright, so I'm just going to go to my front view and I'm going to create a polygon um, plane. Um, go to this creation parameters. I'm just going to crank it up the subdivisions to four. Yep. And back out. And let's change this hyphen width to, oh, let's make it 15 and zero that. And I'm just going to bring it forward to about here. And I'm going to shift to face mode and delete the inner faces like so. And then I'm going to start working with this for the uh, outside of my eyeball or the face or whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to go to uh, F9 mode which gives us the verts here. It's like the three verts on the outside corner here. Shift, right click, merge verts, merge verts to center. And you're going, we're going to join these all up like so. So I grab these ones as well. Um, instead of going shift, merge verts, merge to center. I could just hit G on the keyboard, which repeats the previous tool, and so on and so forth. And what I'm just going to do is scale out these ones a wee bit, like so. And we're going to begin by shaping this out. So I'm just going to grab, uh, if I hold down shift, I want to lock it down to a particular axis. So I'm going to hold down shift and click. As a control, oh, so control, and select one of the axes. And what you can notice there is your gizmo little box there changes depending on what plane you've locked it into. So I want to lock it into this plane. So whenever I move it, I know it's going to just move around in that.